Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Dread Captures. This week we're going to see a blazing inferno, lions attacking a campsite, zombie deer, and the United States' only known jaguar. Let's check them out. The footage I'm about to show you was captured by a nature lover as they enjoyed a hike through the Appalachian Mountains. However, after what they saw during that hike, I'm not sure they'll be coming back anytime soon. This unsettling video shows an unidentified creature watching the hiker from behind a log. It's very obvious that whatever this is, it doesn't want to be seen. It observes the hiker while keeping the rest of its face hidden behind the log. The animal's eyes appear to be completely black, a characteristic that is frequently linked to cryptids and other beings. And honestly, I've watched this video dozens of times and I'm at a complete loss when I look at this creature. The only thing my mind sees is a sea lion, and obviously they don't live in the mountains. Unfortunately, I do not have a lot of information about the person who took this video, but it's apparent there are some very strange things lurking in the Appalachian Mountains. I'd love to know your take on what this could be. An early morning visit of the worst kind took place in southern Africa when a pride of lions started raiding a campsite. Well, things quickly spiraled out of control. You can see the man is awakened and opened his tent and looked out. As the massive male lion approaches, the man does the only thing that he can do and zips up the tent and awaits his fate. The man must have really felt like he brought a knife to a gunfight. The female lioness is the first to lose interest and luckily her male companion follows. After the lions leave the area, the man quickly hops out of his tent and heads to check on whomever he was camping with. When you decide to sleep in the brush of Africa, I'm sure something like this crosses your mind, but it's pretty scary for it to come to a reality. Let's watch some footage with some original audio. You can hear the guttural sound from the lion and the man in the background. Personally, I've never been in a situation like this, but I feel like I would be calling less attention to myself than this guy is. Let me know what you guys would have done in this situation. A hair more gentle than the last video, but still scary nonetheless. Here we have campers filming two lionesses licking rain pellets off the liner of their tent. It's pretty amazing if you can block out the part where you might be their next meal. What would you have done in this situation? For those that don't know, let me introduce you to El Jefe. This is America's only known wild jaguar. He lives in the remote Santa Rita Mountains of Arizona. He is a magnificent creature who again holds the distinction of being the only wild jaguar in the United States. Of course there are a great number of jaguars living in comfort of zoos across the country, but only El Jefe has the freedom to roam and hunt as he pleases. Authorities have considered making an attempt to capture El Jefe in the past but they ultimately determined that it is more beneficial for him to continue his life in the mountains. Besides, it provides insight into how an animal can survive in an environment that he's not built for. Not only is El Jefe surviving, he's thriving in his new environment. Researchers were able to positively identify the animal as an adult male in the prime of his life who suffers from no serious health conditions, all thanks to the trail cam footage. El Jefe looks like he's definitely living his best life, 
and I'm sure you'll agree that it's best that we leave El Jefe where he is and continue to admire him from afar through the magic of trail cams. A group of friends went exploring in the woods late one night. They brought a camera with them to take some pictures. And as they continued their journey and snapping photos, they captured this one image that none of them could explain. They didn't notice anything out of the ordinary until they examined the photos more closely. One of their photos showed a pale hand wrapped around a tree, as if something was grabbing it. Now, it's frightening enough to be out in the woods in the middle of the night, but capturing a random hand you didn't know was there is terrifying. If you turned up the brightness and zoomed in on where the hand was, it revealed something far more terrifying. As we look closely, you can see a pale and horrifying face peering around the tree, staring right back at the hikers. They were being stalked by some strange creature. And as you can see in some of the other photos, people that have seen the pictures and the kids that took the photographs are perplexed. What could this strange creature be? Perhaps we'll never know. Our next trail camera clip is unexplainable, uploaded as a 42 minute long video of a compilation of all the wildlife that the owner was catching. This video was not intended to be scary and the user had no idea that he had caught anything scary on his camera until he began reading the comments on his video. At approximately 16 minutes and 30 seconds, it shows a clip of a lone coyote roving through the night. Coyotes are pretty typical in this spot and everything seems normal until a gigantic pair of glowing eyes appear in the background. The only thing you can see is the reflection of the eyes. We're unable to make out what they're attached to. No outline of a body. What grabs my attention is that the coyote notices there's something there too. You can see him looking in its direction soon after the eyes appear. I think we can assume it's a creature, he's massive. So let me know what you guys think. We have a strange creature lurking in the woods. Is it something paranormal? I'm at a loss on this one. Evidenced in a video I posted recently about this unlikely duo, I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility for hunter and prey to get along. But check these two guys out. Do we think these guys have the same relationship? I'm going to go with no. Even though it's pitch black, you can tell the deer senses danger in its presence. The gator is startled awake, but is none the wiser that the easiest meal he's ever had almost walked right into his lap. Posted in 2020 from New Mexico's Rio Mora National Wildlife Refuge, a motion trail cam has taken a picture of the back portion of a juvenile Rocky Mountain elk. At first glance, there's nothing spectacular about the photo. But if you look closely, very closely, you can see a mountain lion crouched in the grass. This Find It photo had social media abuzz with people claiming that there was nothing in the photo. Can you see the lion? Here, let me help you out. He's almost invisible. And honestly, it took me longer to find it than I would like to admit. Nevertheless, very cool. Comment and let me know if you could see the lion without the help. Filmed on June 28th of 2000, this trail cam footage is both fascinating and terrifying. Even though it was filmed in 2000, not many people have seen this clip. A high intensity fire rolls through this trail and the camera records the scene and the temperature as it unfolds in real time. As the massive and deadly forest fire sweeps through Northwest Territory woods, it's not often it's captured on trail cam footage. Spikes in temperature are easily visible as the camera records them. As the trail cam is first engulfed in flames, the speed and intensity of the fire's growth is truly terrifying. It looks like something from the gates of hell. Deer are considered some of the most harmless and lovable creatures, but a little known disease is turning our docile friends into zombies. More and more people are capturing zombie deer on film. An infectious disease known as chronic wasting disease, or CWD, affects deer, elk, reindeer, and moose. 
It's been discovered in parts of North America, including Canada, the United States, Norway, and even South Korea. Infected deer act in completely irrational and bizarre ways because of the holes that appear in their brains as a result of this highly contagious neurological disease. It's similar to a way an animal acts that has rabies. There's currently no cure for CWD and no way to treat this disease. Luckily, there are no human cases of CWD infection for now. Animal researchers brought in to study the deer have noted that non-human primates like monkeys may be at risk from contracting CWD if they eat meat from infected animals or come into contact with any brain or bodily fluids from infected deer or elk. Check out this video from some campers that captured some footage of zombie deer. This photograph, taken by a trail camera in the middle of the woods, shows an odd eye staring back into the lens. The homeowners had installed a trail cam just to learn more about the forest inhabitants, but they never anticipated capturing such an unusual sight. Everyone has been taken aback and doesn't know what to make of this picture. I have no idea what kind of animal this is. Some people say that it's a dog or a cat, but it looks more human-like to me. There's something about the way he looks in the camera. Seriously, what is this thing? Let me know what you guys think about this. I'd love to know. After that creepy eye staring into the screen, here's a pleasant video featuring a dog that every single night, he will not go to sleep until his entire family is safely in bed. You can see as he checks on each member. If everything is as it should be, He'll head off to sleep by the front door and keep watch. Thank you for tuning into another episode of Dread Captures. As always, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, turn on bell notifications so you get notified when I post videos. As for now, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Predators like the mountain lion are textbook opportunists. The meal that presents the least amount of challenge is the one they will always prefer. They are stealthy and hunt primarily by their sight. As I play this next video, we can see two small dogs in a snowy courtyard. The owners most likely were letting them out one last time before bed. The dogs are sniffing to do their business and you can tell they sense something is in the area. One dog actually sees the lion at the entrance, but luckily the gate is closed. The lion slinks away to set up his attack, and there he is. He makes quick work of that partition and lunges to get one of the pups. Thankfully, mom isn't far behind and flies out of the house to somehow prevent the lion from making off with one of her babies. She wasn't letting this happen on her watch. Let's take another look at the lion coming over the wall. Look how big he is. Freaking huge. I often forget how big these animals are. I hear the word lion and the first thought that comes to my mind is a huge African lion. But these mountain lions are big too. Look at this thing compared to the woman. You have no shot against this animal if he really wants you. One last thing to point out is that if mom had decided to walk her dogs, unfortunately she might have been the meal. Especially since it appears she's in a fur coat of some sort. Luck was definitely on their side. There are many videos and pictures and claims of people capturing UFOs from all around the world on the internet. It's hard to tell which ones are credible. Some of these documentations come from people that have a vested interest in you believing what they tell you. Others just come from whack jobs and some are just downright fake. This next clip is one of the best videos suggesting there is something in our skies that might imply humans aren't the only ones living on this planet. This video was captured by a man named Carrie. K 
Carey and his family moved out of the city and took up homesteading in the Wisconsin country. They film their lives for the YouTube channel called Homestead How and shows different styles and tactics of homesteading, so he was not expecting to capture this on camera. His family crowds around the computer and they see one of the photos in question. And when he zooms in, you can see that it looks exactly like a UFO. His daughters are kind of giving him a hard time, but Carrie is adamant that he didn't do anything to the photo. He didn't apply any edits or special effects to it. To further prove his point, he crops the picture and blows it up. And as you can see, there is definitely something extraterrestrial about this image. The circular shape of it and even the spotlight coming off of it. I mean, what is that? I've seen those spotlights off helicopters, looking for a runaway fugitive, but that thing is definitely not a helicopter. And I have to admit, while I have no idea what this thing is, I'm with Carrie. I think it's a UFO. At the very least, some type of government vehicle we don't know about. I'd love to hear what you guys think it could be. I'm all ears. Some people see bears and think that they're soft and cuddly and cute, and at the very worst that they are overprotective of their young. But lest we forget that these animals are apex predators that have to eat. This next video is insane. This terrifying event occurred in Whitefish, Montana. Filmed by an unsuspecting tourist on a chairlift, the bear emerges from behind some low brush and heads straight down the mountain for the biker, who was riding the trails of the closed ski resort. As the bear is charging down the hillside, you can see that he's taking the angle towards the rider, gaining ground by cutting through the brush. The video cuts off just as the mountain biker enters a thick forest with the bear hot on his heels, and just before the course takes a sharp turn. Even though the pursuit took place at an out-of-season ski resort, the Montana Knife Company was the first to release the tape. The video was captioned with a brief warning saying, Montana is not Disney World. Even though there's no on-record statement from the rider, those in the area insisted that he was okay. For me, it would be fascinating to learn when, or if he even recognized that the bear was chasing him. Feral hogs are extremely detrimental to natural habitats and endanger native plant and animal species. Once they've established themselves, they are nearly impossible to eradicate. Adult feral hogs have no natural predators aside from humans and exhibit very high reproductive potential. But we have seen hogs be helpful in certain situations. For example, this raccoon using a hog as a step stool slash getting a literal piggyback ride to get to the corn feeder on this property. Some might argue these hogs aren't all bad, but when they get a look at this next unexplainable photo, they might have a change of heart. Here you can see some type of skeletal creature with glowing eyes riding bareback on a hog. If you look closely, you can see the creature holding a spear, and he has what appear to be wings. Others that have seen this photo say that the wings prove that he is a fallen angel, but I'm not so sure. Not much is known about this picture circulating, but if a trail camera really did capture a mystical creature riding a hog, it's pretty incredible. Personally, I'm leaning towards this being a hoax, unless anyone has any ideas of what it might be. This next video shows bears in a more caring, docile way. Filmed by a wildlife photographer in Montana, you can see a mother and her cub in a tree. The cub looks to be a little too high in the tree and possibly even stuck, but soon you'll see why. As the mom hits the ground, a pack of coyotes run her back up the tree. The coyotes most likely more interested in the young cub than the mother. This next video shows a little softer side of coyotes and dare I say coyote bear friendship? These two were caught on a trail camera strolling through South Naples close to the Naples Beach Hotel and Golf Club in Florida. I've posted a few instances of different species of animal caught on trail cams together. And just like those, this one makes me wonder what these two are up to. 
The trail cam owner says he suspects that the coyote is using the bear's keen sense of smell to locate food. I think it's more likely that the bear is luring the coyote because the coyote is going to be its food. Or perhaps they're just using the same trail at the same time of day by chance. With deforestation, bears and coyotes have been pushed into more urban areas. So it's crucial to keep certain attractants like trash and pet food under wraps and to keep an eye on any livestock or pets on your property. Attacks on people are rare and seldom result in significant injuries, but they have been on the uptick. Personally, the coyote isn't the one I'm worried about. The bear, on the other hand, well, we know how that attack would likely end. Rut or rutting is a term used to describe the behavior of deer or moose during the breeding season, when males pursue females that are in estrus and ready to breed. Some hunters believe the first rut happens when the cold snaps. Regardless, the first sign of rutting behavior is often sparring amongst the bucks. These spars are usually short-lived, high-intensity pushing and shoving matches. I'm sure everyone watching this has seen a deer in rut and maybe even elk. But have you all seen bull moose in rut? Well, this video shows just that. Two bulls square off in a Colorado man's driveway. The sound their antlers make is incredible. They smash into the vehicles. There goes a mirror. And they eventually end up in the bed of the man's pickup where one of their antlers gets stuck. You can tell by the pause that when they're in the truck, they've realized they've gone too far. They overdid it. Just an incredible camera capture. Pixies, fairies, elves, and the like are all mythical creatures of British folklore. Many people have a deep-rooted belief that these creatures actually exist. Pixies, in fact, are said to be helpful to normal humans, sometimes helping needy widows and others with housework. They are not completely compassionate, however, as they have a reputation for misleading travelers, hence the phrase pixie lit. Via his YouTube channel, Erwin Saunders has been tracking the whereabouts of a group of pixies whom he calls wilderness folk in the remote English forest for 25 years. Let's take a look at a clip. In this clip, as he's setting up for a video, a group of pixies shows up and are intrigued by what's going on. Erwin and a colleague are set up in camouflage some yards apart while you can see the pixies scurrying around on the ground, eventually surrounding the one man. Now, at first glance, I'll just say it, they look real. Now, of course, I don't know if they are, and I'll say this. The pink children's walkie-talkies don't lend much credibility to the whole operation, if you ask me. But Irwin has dozens and dozens of videos on his channel featuring these pixies, so I'll let you guys decide. Nonetheless, very entertaining. Let me know in the comments what you all think about these pixies. Are they real or just really well done CGI? This next video was caught on a security camera on a dark alley type street. A young kitten has been bombarded and cornered by a wild pack of aggressive street dogs. A cat is no match for even one of these dogs, let alone an entire pack. The young kitten does its best to fend the dogs off, but it's just a matter of time. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, Mama Cat comes flying in to protect her baby. She's swatting and clawing and hissing and wreaks enough havoc for the dogs to change focus, allowing her kitten to slip away. Once they back Mom into a corner, as cats do, she thinks quickly and is able to escape the scene, as you can see in the upper left of the video. All in all, just another instance of motherly love. In 2009, a YouTube account named Yevgeny2000 was created to upload a single mysterious video of a supernatural encounter in the Russian wilderness. It promoted nothing, didn't ask for likes or subscribers, or for you to tune into the next one. There was no eerie music just one singular video. The video starts by showing a dog named Tarzan visibly intrigued or bothered by something. As Tarzan takes off on the path and the camera follows him, you can clearly see what is bothering him. At the end of the clearing, you can see a woman and a child 
Notably, one is firmly on the ground while the young girl is levitating in the air. Assuming the woman is the child's mother, she doesn't seem frightened at all. She's just standing there watching her daughter float. She eventually notices they're not alone as Tarzan comes running up to them. The video shows the child breaking the levitation and descending back to the ground where her mother grabs her and they quickly flee the area. As we play it back, we can see the young girl casually hovering in the air, or as others have speculated, maybe it's the mother holding her up in the air with some of her telepathic powers. Personally, I picture a scenario where the young girl possesses these superpowers and to harness them, her mother has to take her to a remote place to exhaust these powers. And if none of this is true, and this video is just a fake, why upload it in the first place and never post another video ever? What would prompt him to do that for seemingly no benefit? Let me know what you guys think about this video and if you've ever seen anything like this or know more of the backstory. It's been well documented that Dog is man's best friend. They almost never seem to let us down, and they often know exactly what we need. And that is definitely the case in our next video. Haley Moore and her dog Clover became best buds as soon as she laid eyes on Clover. Clover is a Marama sheepdog, and the Moores have had her for roughly two years. On March 16th in Ontario, Canada, Haley was taking Clover for their daily walk. About five minutes in, as captured in this video, Haley begins to get woozy, collapses, and begins having a seizure. You can see Haley is fighting to get up, and that's when Clover springs into action. She manages to get Haley to roll over and gets her off the cold snow and ice and closer to the dry pavement. Clover is circling and barking, trying to help Haley regain herself. She realizes there is really something wrong, and she can't help Haley. You see Clover glance over at an approaching truck, and that's when she decides she's going to flag this guy down. Clover slowly positions herself in the road in front of the man's truck, softly wagging her tail to signify she's not a threat. The Good Samaritan leaps out of the vehicle and immediately begins to help Haley, ultimately calling 911, getting her into an ambulance into the hospital. And amazingly, Haley was able to make a full recovery. But another amazing part of this story is that the Moors had no idea that Clover had been the one to stop the man that helped Haley. They thought the man had just been driving down that particular street and saw Haley on the ground. It wasn't until a news station reached out, interested in airing the footage of Clover saving Haley. They were blown away. Fighting back tears, Haley's mother said, quote, We would have done anything for Clover and now we know she will do anything for us. Just an amazing story. This is a really cool trail cam capture here. As you can see, a little squirrel is just foraging around, minding his own business, when all of a sudden out of nowhere, that guy tries to make him a meal. Unbelievable. I picture the hawk just perched atop his tree and waiting for the absolute right time to strike. I mean, he came in there like a speeding bullet. You can also tell that the squirrel at the last split second must have changed his position or ducked, but somehow got out of the way. A hawk wouldn't have misjudged his attack like that and slammed into the tree if he hadn't been caught off guard. It appears this little squirrel will live to fight another day, while the hawk goes back to the drawing board. This next short clip may help explain that last video and how the squirrel avoided the hawk. Perhaps it's their will to live. Look at how this thing hits the ground. Boom, and he just scurries away. He didn't even hesitate. Let's watch it again. This tree is huge and this little guy just rides it down, smashing into the earth and he's gone. I'm amazed he ran away from that. We've seen some videos of feral hogs and boars in the past, and if you know anything about them, you know how dangerous they can be. They've become a big problem here in the United States. They have virtually no predators outside of us humans. In this next video, 
honestly, I have no idea what this guy's doing. You can see the hog near the brush pile, and as the dog lunges at him, the hog veers off and goes after the man. I mean, have your gun ready for God's sake. The boar knocks the man over, but doesn't pursue him much more. Luckily, the dog distracts the boar and the man is able to get up. A very strange part of this video to me is how easily the man is able to pin that huge hog down. I'd love to hear some ideas from some experienced hog hunters. There's no way that man should have been able to pin that animal. I'm thinking the dog must have been chasing the hog and tired him down. That would explain the ease in which the hog submitted. And I guess also explain why the man didn't have his weapon drawn, even though he still should have. Let me know in the comments what you think about this capture and if you have any experience hog hunting. The following video depicts a softer, more familial side of wild hogs. Farmers are harvesting their corn in this video when they spot some movement inside a little cluster of corn that is yet to be knocked down. As he approaches, a family of pigs run out, and they narrowly avoid being clipped by the harvester. The hogs are able to flee across the field and into the woods. Cornfields are said to be a favorite of hogs, and when some of the corn is soaked, it emits a distinctive odor that attracts the feral pigs. I bet a close call like this one is probably why some farmers harvest the cornfields from the middle. Plantation workers in the deep forest of Burma, a country in Southeast Asia, had been seeing a strange creature showing up on their property. He would show up at different times, during the morning or around dusk. One day, he wandered onto their property, and what they captured on the next video blew them all away. Here, the creature is crawling over some down vegetation. It looks like some kind of leopard or panther or big cat-like animal to me. He definitely seems weak as well, like he has no energy or strength. The workers are unsure of what to do with him, but somehow get him into a cage and he's pissed about it. The claws this creature possesses are incredible. You can see his long, deadly claws wrapped around the metal cage. He even rips at the cage with his mouth. At first, I thought the only formidable thing about this guy was his claws. But then I saw his bite strength as he tore through portions of this metal cage. The creature's frantic efforts to escape the confines of the cage resulted in several broken teeth and bleeding of the mouth. Many natives believe that this is the legendary water monster a figure from Chinese folklore. Others believe that this is a small sun bear that could have gone bald as a result of the polluted water near his home. However, no one knows for sure what it is or where it originated. But whatever it is, you can tell that it possesses some real power. Let me know in the comments if you know any details about this creature. This next video is amazing and was taken by two friends that were coincidentally going to check their trail cameras. While they were walking on the trail, they noticed what they thought was a dead deer ahead of them. When they got closer, they realized she had been tangled in some old barbed wire. One man begins to cut her loose. Even when she's free, she doesn't move. The man notices her neck is twisted in such a way. But eventually, when she realizes these good men are here to help, she's off. We've all seen the like of werewolves in movies, and know of documented case of dogmen, but I'm not sure any of you have witnessed anything in the wild like this before. I certainly don't believe I have. In the next image captured by the trail cam, we get an excellent look at what can only be described as a wolf-man hybrid, an apex predator, and a terrifying monster that is similar to what was described in an encounter that is known as the Beast of Bray Road. According to legend, the creature was first seen in 1936. Several supposed witnesses claim the beast left extensive scratch marks on their doors and trunks. One witness reported that she collided with something while crossing Bray Road. When she got out of her car to see what she had hit, a big wolf-like thing with red eyes followed her back into her car, leaving claw marks on the rear passenger door. Animal mutilations have also been recorded in the vicinity of Bray Road. 
with animal corpses, including deer and livestock, half-eaten, and specific organs removed from their bodies. To this day, reported sightings continue. Most recently in February of 2018 and July of 2020, in Spring Prairie and Lyons, both in Walworth County, reported witnesses saw a big, hair-covered upright monster. Is it possible that this really is the beast that lives on Bray Road? In this next capture, as the number of incidents in which cattle were slaughtered by an unidentified creature continued to rise, fear began to spread. Residents of this Puerto Rico town thought they might have a chupacabra on their hands. The chupacabra has been a legendary creature in parts of the Americas, with its first purported sightings in Puerto Rico in 1995. The name comes from the animal's reported vampirism. The chupacabra is said to attack and drink the blood of livestock, including goats. As the time went on in Puerto Rico, detectives began looking at the dead bodies of the animals that had been harmed. They all had fang-like holes on the sides of their necks, but they found no evidence that would help them identify the ferocious animal that was responsible for these attacks. There were strange footprints that were found close to the scene of the attack which led some people to believe that a lone wolf was responsible. However, that didn't seem to be the case. Wolves hunt to eat the meal, the meat that their prey provides them. It would be very unlikely for a wolf to leave a meal they had worked hard to kill, and they surely don't have the capabilities to drink it dry of its blood. The investigators were told by some of the eyewitnesses that it was something that resembled an ape, and they began calling it a chupacabra due to the fact that it predominantly attacked goats and other farm animals. This case was never solved and the investigation never closed. I'd love to hear your theories about this. What type of animal leaves those fang-like marks? An apple farmer in North Georgia was dumping old, imperfect apples in a spot in his woods. He would occasionally see deer and raccoons, other small critters on his trail cam. One day he even saw a mother black bear and her cubs, and he figured they must have just been passing through. But 10 days later, his trail cam spotted this picture. While bears are of the order carnivora, they are technically omnivores, and 80% of their diets include plant matter, with only 5% coming from meat. So a pile of apples in the woods is a sure thing for a bear. Anyhow, I'm sure it goes without saying, but he was pretty surprised. From this cam photo, you can count 12 bears. They probably feel like they've died and gone to heaven, with a few bears just sitting on top of the pile of apples. This is a great capture. This next trail cam capture is one of two. This one comes from Jaime in Northern California. Jaime is an avocado farm ranch hand. He said his boss had been setting up trail cameras for two reasons. One, apparently, avocado farming is highly competitive and they had been experiencing some trespassing and minor vandalism. And two, that one of the dogs on the farm was killed by something and they all suspected a mountain lion. The owner had been setting up trail cameras all over the property for weeks, hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive mountain lion they suspected was in the area. But one morning when he checked the footage from one of the cameras, he got much more than he bargained for. There on the screen was a strange and unsettling image, a pair of claws and feet with long, sharp nails. He didn't know what to make of it. Like the rest of us, I'm sure, the first thing he noticed was the fur. This was definitely not a mountain lion, but what was it? And to me, the nails look like something from the Ice Age, prehistoric times. Jamie said his boss took it to his grandfather and was told a story about a creature that lurked through the mountains long before the farm was there, and some of the strange encounters the older man had had while on the property. Reluctantly, he didn't give many details. But nevertheless, no one was able to identify this photo. I'd love to know what you guys think this could be. A 
our next video captured is that of a hero dog named Henry. Pictured here is Henry, a very persistent eight-year-old Boston Terrier who unexplainedly kept barging into his human sister's nursery. The video starts as Henry's owner films Henry, asking him if he had gone into his nine-month-old sister's room as he sits behind the couch. Henry, did you open your sister's door again? It all started when Henry began acting a little strange. The baby was sleeping, but Henry wouldn't leave her be, something he normally doesn't do. Kelly and her husband explain that every time they shoot Henry out of the baby's room, once they turn their backs, he would go right back in there. Now he was starting to bark and be more persistent. He wouldn't leave her side. Kelly and her husband knew their daughter had a cold, but Henry is the first one that sensed things were taking a turn for the worse. His baby sister wasn't able to clear her airway and was unable to get oxygen, and she had started to turn blue. Once the couple noticed and checked on her, they rushed their baby girl to the ER, where doctors were able to clear her airway and get her back home later that night. The family said that Henry will definitely be getting extra Christmas presents, and he also has a very nice steak dinner in his future. The family says they feel forever indebted to Henry, and they knew he was special, but they didn't know he was also a hero. The next video was the second of the two submissions, this one coming from a man and his family. He requested that I not mention the town he's from or his name, so I'll refer to him as Jeff. The man writes that his family lives about halfway up a section of the Appalachian Mountain Range in eastern Kentucky. Jeff lives with his wife and teenage daughter. He goes on to explain that there is a popular camping site slash destination a few miles from his home. The place is popular for tourists, but locals also enjoy spending time there. Jeff said his daughter had recently heard grumblings at her high school about strange things and sightings happening up on the mountain. Jeff thinks it's important to note the dynamic between the kids at the local high school. There are essentially two groups. The kids that live up the mountain, known as the mountain kids, and the kids at the base of the mountain that are closer to the town whose families are most likely more fortunate and often look down on the mountain kids. Anyhow, the town kids start asking Jeff's daughter about these sightings. They seem really intrigued, but she hadn't heard or seen anything. She figured it was just her classmates trying to make something out of nothing. Most of the town kids often looked at the mountain as a mysterious, creepy place, and the mountain dwellers were all weirdos. She eventually mentioned what the kids were talking about to her dad. He had a good friend at the ranger station and, ironically, the ranger had been hearing about the strange sightings as well. The ranger told Jeff he had set up a few trail cameras and would keep him posted if he found anything unusual. On his way home, Jeff said, screw it, I'm going to set my trail cams up too. Jeff's a hunter so he has some laying around. Eventually setting up three, one at the back of his house and two deeper off into the woods that was closer to a popular trail. Every few days he would check them. He'd catch the normal forest stuff. But he started to pick up a pattern, one thing in particular. His dog Moose would not leave the small area behind his house. Which was really strange because Moose would sometimes be gone from sunup, well into the night. Moose was a chocolate lab and he loved to explore. The two cameras that were farther away from the house proved to be more fruitful. But what he caught on the one close to his house? well. It's enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. This is what he captured. Now, I don't know what this is. At first glance, my mind tells me it's some sort of alien because of the glowing eyes. And even because of the oddly shaped head. The picture is a little blurry so you can't make out many facial features. But notably, humans don't tend to produce any eye shine like an animal such as a cat or a deer might. So that makes me wonder. Another strange part is that the creature doesn't seem to be wearing any clothes, but its body looks very much like a human's. Especially if you look closely at the legs and arms, you can see small bicep muscle definition and definition in the quads. However, when you get back to the hands, that's where things get sketchy again. The fingers look long and pointed, and the being could only have four fingers, you can't tell. 
I also can't decide whether this creature has crawled out of the woods and was startled by the camera, or he's in an aggressive stance waiting to rip the camera off the tree or even pounce on something. Jeff is at a loss. He's lived in those woods for a long time. He sent it to his park ranger buddy, and he didn't know what it was either. Jeff writes, In full disclosure, there are some sketchy everyday things that happen in the Appalachian Mountains. We've got unidentified creatures, to methamphetamine labs, to drifters and criminals hiding out on the mountain trails. So capturing odd sightings on camera aren't as crazy as they would be in other parts of the country. Well, this photo is insane. Anyhow, I'd love to know everyone's thoughts on this. Has anyone had a similar sighting or from the areas near the Appalachian Mountains that can confirm? I'd love to know any and all details and to continue the discussion. Coyote love deer. And any time a pack of coyotes can track one down, they're going to try their best to take him down. A trail cam video captured in June of 2021 shows a standoff between a pack of coyotes and a deer. As you can see, the deer is bounding through the high grass while the coyotes are trying to corral her for an easy takedown. The original uploader didn't mention this, but if you look closely, in a brief moment, you can see that the deer has a fawn with her. You only see the baby once, but knowing what we all know about mothers, it is very safe to say that the mama is more worried about her young escaping. I suspect that this is why we are seeing the doe and the coyotes run in what seems to be circles. I think the baby is somewhere behind the scenes, out of camera view, trying to evade the coyotes. And the mother is either running interference as a distraction or trying to keep herself in between the coyotes and her young. Let me know if anyone has seen anything like this on their land or other places. <coughs> Captured a few days before Christmas in 2010, a group of mountain lions are congregating around a kill. This wouldn't be odd if these were African lions as they tend to work together, but mountain lions are solitary animals, traveling alone except during mating season or when a female is supporting young. So I wonder what's going on here. Now, I'm sure if a kill takes place by one lion, it draws quite a bit of attention from any animals, especially predators in the area. Mountain lions can be seen at any time of the day or night, but are most active at dawn and dusk, corresponding with deer activity. Seeing as lions are carnivores and, again, eat primarily deer, I'd be interested in knowing what they are eating in this picture. I can't quite make out what it is. It looks like it has dark fur, perhaps a cow from a nearby farm. Or maybe we're blocked out from the prey and can't even see it. Here is another angle of the picture. Very strange for them to be together, but perhaps food brings predators together much like it does humans. If you look closely and count, you can make out eight mountain lions in total. A wildlife expert commented on the original uploader's photo and said this has to be a composite picture which means that two or more photos were combined to create one. The expert says he has extensive experience in big cat behavior and this species is as described above, a solitary apex predator that hunts alone using ambush techniques. If you guys have ever seen anything like this, I'd be interested in any information you have on it. This photo was taken in October of 2011. A man was checking his trail cameras on his property and when he pulled up the footage, this is what he saw. A man just standing there on his property. He definitely has the look of not having much of a purpose for being there. But the trail cam owner says the strangest part is that he has cameras on the entrances and exits to this part of the property. And this man wasn't captured on any of the other cameras. Sure, I guess he could have come through the woods and been out of sight. But according to the owner, it is very thick and would have been tough to travel especially if he's shirtless, which it kind of looks like he might be in this photo. Assuming he's not, others that have seen the photo and knew he was only captured on this camera suggest he might be a time traveler, that he looks similar to a gold prospector from years past. The band around his head does look similar to a headlamp. Let me know what you guys think about this photo or if you have any information. If he indeed is a time traveler, I bet he's bummed he ended up in a random part of the woods. This next story clip is an absolutely phenomenal one. 
This is a video of Casper the Sheepdog. Casper is a 20-month-old Great Pyrenees who is responsible for a flock of sheep in Decatur, Georgia. One day, a pack of coyotes showed up, and they were kind of sniffing around the pen, trying to get at Casper's sheep, if they saw an opportunity. John, Casper's owner, explained that the pack of coyotes just randomly showed up, and they were kind of doing what coyotes do. They run away, kind of taunt you, but eventually leave with any act of pushback. They eventually retreated. Around 3 p.m. the same day, John heard a bunch of commotion in his backyard. He came out to see Casper and the other sheepdog named Daisy with their sheep pinned in the corner. The coyotes had returned for round two. John says that about half of the coyotes had made it into the pen while the others waited outside. Casper moved front and center now as the coyotes tried to push closer. The owner noted that the coyotes didn't act the way they did the first go around. They weren't responding to the man's yells. They weren't scared this time. They were honed in on those sheep. As the coyotes advanced towards his flock, no quicker than you could blink, Casper took off into the middle of the pack of coyotes. Some scrambled to get out of the pen, while the others that stayed to fight with Casper eventually met their demise. Casper killed a few coyotes right there in the pen. Casper jumped out of the pen and killed a few more that wouldn't back down. After that, Casper took off for the rest of the pack. And what ensued was a battle lasting roughly half an hour. John finally went back to his house to get his weapon because neither Casper nor the Coyote Pack were backing down. He said they fought and fought and fought up and down the creek on the back of their property. John was trying to call Casper off the Coyotes because he could see that Casper had a few injuries, understandably. But Casper was locked in. Eventually, the Coyotes started to lose ground probably figuring that there was an easier meal to be had somewhere else. But when they took off, Casper went after them. John followed as well as he could, but he eventually lost Casper and the Coyote Pack. As the day turned into night, John and his family didn't really know what to think or do. Casper was a family dog as much as he was a dog on the job. The next day, they put out a Facebook post and neighbors came and helped the family look. As the group followed the blood trail, one dead coyote, then another, then another. They found pieces of Casper's tail along the way, so they knew, after all this, he was in rough shape. John says he figured they'd find him dead, honestly, and this was more of a recovery mission than a rescue mission, seeing as what he was up against. But unfortunately, despite their efforts, they still couldn't find Casper. Two days later, John happened to be in his backyard, and he caught something out of the corner of his eye by the chicken coop. I'll be damned. It was Casper. Casper stuck his head out of the chicken coop as John went over to him. He said Casper kind of looked at him like, Look man, I know I look bad, but I feel worse and I need some help. John took him in and he and his daughter cleaned Casper up. He had some deep wounds that would most definitely need veterinarian attention. But he was alive. Casper was able to bounce back and make a full recovery and is undoubtedly one loyal and heroic dog. A wildlife specialist commented that dogs rarely prevail like Casper did, and packs of coyotes attacking people's pets have grown somewhat common in rural and growing suburban areas throughout the United States. Anyhow, in the description below, I'll attach the video of Casper's owner John talking about the incident. In classical antiquity, the Minotaur was represented as having the head and tail of a bull and the body of a man. It's also very popular in the role-playing game Dungeons & Dragons. So looking at this picture, I'm really trying to get a gauge on what I'm looking at. My eyes see a big bipedal beast that looks like a gorilla or Bigfoot, but man, I am thrown off by the horns on its head. His arms look oddly human as well. But you can see the ram's horns as plain as day. What in the world could this thing be? Is this real? This has to be a hoax. A person in a costume or something. I don't know. I will say this. If I ran into this creature in the woods, unarmed, I'd be going the other way. Doug Teague, a Hickory, North Carolina resident, and his dog Crazy Daisy claim to have footage of a real-life Sasquatch. Cell phone footage shows a dark figure through the trees. This video was taken in McDowell County where several people have reported seeing the creature over the years. 
and this guy really seems to believe in Bigfoot. Ironically, the day of the encounter, Doug and Daisy were headed to get the footage from trail cameras he had currently set up. Cameras he was hoping would help him catch a glimpse of the elusive Sasquatch. T goes on to explain that as they were walking, they heard some rustling in the leaves, and then a rock was thrown in their direction. He grabs his cell phone and starts recording not one, but three total creatures up on a small hill. This is just a small snippet of the 10-minute video he took. Interviewed by news reporters, Teague describes being giddy like a school child when he saw them. I know the video has been around for a little while, but let me know what you guys think of this footage. Doug clearly is infatuated with Bigfoot, so that makes me a tad bit skeptical. However, if what he caught on camera is genuine, it doesn't seem like it could have happened to a bigger believer. So good on you, Doug. I've posted more than a few mountain lion clips on this channel because, well, they amaze me. They're big, stealthy, mysterious ambush predators. This next picture shows just how close this mountain lion was able to get to this deer while remaining undetected. Deer are highly sensitive to their surroundings and you might even describe them as skittish. Experts say a deer can smell a human like humans can smell a skunk. So it's very surprising that this mountain lion was able to get so close to this deer. And that the deer didn't hear the lion's footsteps behind him as he was stalked. Do you think the wind or the wilderness smell of the cougar masked the predator's scent? I guess the cougar could have been bedded down and lying in wait and the deer just walked by. Nevertheless, the owner found a great place to put a trail camera to capture this. This next photo goes along with the last one that we just talked about. It shows the exact way mountain lions like to hunt. Here, a hunter has set up a trail camera in an area with lots of deer activity. And at first glance, it looks like the lion has grabbed one and is in for quite a treat. Unfortunately for the lion, this is a fake deer. The hunter had probably set up the trail camera to scout out any potential deer activity on his property, or just for target practice. Great footage for us to look at, but the lion left empty handed that night. Also, does anyone have any idea what that is hanging over the deer's head? This next camera capture is absolutely amazing. Check this out. So. In 2019, Sardar Benici, a Turkish shop owner, is seen walking down the road in front of his store. The footage was taken by his security camera on top of his store. As the video plays, nothing too out of the ordinary happens. A man goes past him and taps him on his shoulder. As Sardar searches for the person who touched him, Sardar notices that the vehicle is getting too close for comfort. And all of a sudden, seemingly out of nowhere, a huge metal gate swings open just in front of him, inches from his face. If it had hit him, he would have been severely injured or worse. As the video shows, the store owner is clearly taken aback by the close call. He looks around, apparently looking for the mysterious man, but he's nowhere to be found. The video was picked up by local TV stations, and a reporter tracked Sadar down, and he said that the truck's driver called and apologized for what had happened. The video, which recently resurfaced on Reddit, never fails to amaze people. As far as an explanation goes, none appears to exist. I think it's amazing. I'd be interested in knowing what everyone thinks happened here. A disaster was averted. Was this divine intervention? Was there actually a man? For being massive, powerful, scary predators sitting on the top rung of the food chain, Bears are surprisingly agile, as you'll see in this next video. After spotting the carcass of a huge bird hanging from a rope, the bear decides to scale the side of this tree. Being an excellent climber, he climbed right up the tree with no problem. But things got a bit tricky when he had to cross the string to reach his final destination. The bear held the rope with his teeth and front legs, with the rest of its body just dangling in the air. Quite an exhibition of upper body strength. He's got his eye on the prize, and as soon as he's about to grab the meal, he slips back down to the ground. I imagine he'll take a little break before he attempts that again. The good news for him is that I don't think anyone is going to come along and try to get in between a bear and his food. This fairy, 
straight out of the movie Peter Pan, decided to perplex its fans when it emerged in a trail cam floating over a building in the dead of night. The fairy can be seen flying up the building and away into the sky. It appears to be quite realistic. If you ask me, she looks a lot like Tinkerbell. Slowing down the video and examining its size, some people believe the fairy is actually a Luna moth. The American moon moth is another name for it. The moth has a wingspan of only around 10 centimeters, and its shadow makes it look like a bedtime fairy. Some people have commented saying they don't even see the fairy, that they don't know what people are talking about. I definitely see a fairy. Let me know what you guys see. This next video is rather incredible, as it shows a monkey captured on a trail cam. The incredible part isn't that it's a monkey on a trail cam, but the fact that the monkey was spotted in Tennessee, a state located in the southern part of the United States. And as I'm sure many can attest, there are no monkeys native to Tennessee, as the climate and available food sources don't support their species. These primates are more commonly found in rainforests and other countries across the world. Now, I'm assuming that this monkey is someone's pet that has hopefully just escaped for a brief time, and not the alternative, that someone let this monkey out into the woods and hope he survives because he got too big as a pet. We see this often with reptiles and other exotic animals in the state of Florida. Please let me know if you have any information on this monkey and the outcome, or if it did in fact turn out to be someone's pet. This isn't the first time we've seen an animal with a constricting tire around its neck. In one of my previous videos, we showed an elk with a tire around his. Thankfully, this next video has a happy ending just like the other one. As you can see, these sea lions were at a loss as to how to help their buddy, who was having trouble breathing due to the fact that a tire had become mistakenly trapped around its neck. Remarkably, the rescue team made up of bystanders sprung into action. They attached a hook to a piece of rope and carefully hooked it into the tire and pulled while the seal maneuvered his way out and took off into the company of his friends. This next camera capture starts in a very joyful way. Just a boy and his dog playing in their front yard. The boy and the dog both seem happy to be outside and burning off some energy. But in a matter of seconds, the entire video takes a turn. If you look across the street, you can see a dog that has gotten loose from its owners and is in a dead sprint for the six-year-old. But the boy's dog isn't having any of that. Just as quickly as the dog arrives, he's met with the heroics of the boy's dog. Even another dog joins in the fight too. The first dog blocks the initial attack by the black dog, then blocks him again when he tries to get to the boy, eventually runs him off into the driveway. As we watch it again, you can feel the fear from everyone. You can hear it in the neighbor's voice whose dog is on the attack. You can see it in the boy and on the mother's face as she runs to get her son. I don't know the outcome of this video other than that the boy is safe and his dogs are heroes. And I'm not sure what the liability looks like for a neighbor whose dog did something like this. Probably nothing since he didn't bite him. But I can imagine these two families won't be hanging out this weekend after this scare. <laughs> 